Welcome traders to another Tip Mill Weekly Market Outlook with me Patrick Munley. Uh, this is for week commencing August the 1st. So let's jump into the data for the week ahead starting in the US. Uh, to Monday we get Global Manufacturing PMIs, the final estimate for the month looking for 52.3. June construction spending, uh, last time out negative 0.1%. Uh, market median this time is for a 0.4% print home building uh, to provide medium term support in terms of construction spending. We also get July ISM manufacturing. Uh, last time out 53, looking for 52.1 supply and cost pressures weighing on manufacturing growth. Moving into Tuesday, June Jolt's job openings uh, continues to point to extraordinary labor demand there. Then we also get uh, Fed speak from Evans, New York Fed Q2 household debt and credit report also. Then heading into Wednesday, we get the services PMI, final estimate for the month, looking for a 47 print. We also get July ISM non-manufacturing, 55.3 last time out, looking for a 53.9 services at risk from loss of real income and rates. We also get uh, June factory orders, Last time, 1.6%, looking for a 0.8% print this time. Capital investment holding at robust levels. We also get June durable goods orders, uh, looking for a 1.9% print there. And we also hear from Fed Speaker Bullard. Then into Thursday, uh, June trade balance, uh, looking for a negative 81.5 billion print there. Deficit continues to remain very wide. Initial jobless claims, 256k last time out. These are starting to creep up from those historic lows. And we also hear from uh, Fed member Mester. And then we round out the week with the all-important non-farm payrolls data. Uh, last time out, 372k, looking for a 250k market median with, uh, with some analysts looking for a potential print as low as 200k. Payrolls due for a week month given the uh, heavy survey flat in Q2, but unlikely to rise for a few months now, putting off the next leg down in terms of wage growth. So we're looking for uh, the employment rate to come in 3.6% in line with uh, last time. And that's uh, July average early hourly earnings, percentage of month over month, looking for 0.4% there versus the 0.3% last time out. So from a technical perspective, the dollar index is at a pivotal level here. We have had this three-way corrective move. We are testing trendline support here at 105.14. What I would note, and I'll just draw this in now, is that um, we could actually see a further extension here to test the equality objective. So we have an equality <coughs> equal legs ABC Correctum would actually have us trading back into that 104.19, some uh, high volume areas there as well. So first and foremost, can we get a reversal from the trend line? If we do, then we want to be engaging on the long side back through 107.30s and we're targeting that 110 test. If we don't hold the trend line support, then we'll wait and we'll watch uh, for how price responds at the 104.20s. If we can get bullish reversal pattern there, then once again, I'd be engaging on the long side and the target remains that 110. At this stage, it would take a loss of, uh, of the 103.70s to suggest a, a much more meaningful uh, high is in place. And we'd be looking then for a deeper corrective move, certainly thinking about a retest of the 101.30s. Moving to the Eurozone in terms of data uh, this week. Start off the week on Monday with manufacturing PMI, final estimate for the month, 49.6% there. We also get June unemployment rate, looking for a 6.6% print there, holding at record, record lows. Then heading into Wednesday, services PMI, final estimate for the month, 50.6. We also get June retail sales, looking to be flat, 0% there. Cost of living pressures really weighing on the retail trade in terms of the Eurozone. And that rounds out the data in the Eurozone there, the lighter calendar for the week ahead. So from a technical perspective, <clears throat> uh, as we hold support at 101, so above 101, we look for a test of the trendline resistance and this uh, prior support zone here before the breakdown, 
103.60s. From there, watch for any bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side. I'm looking for a move down into the 98.79s as the next downside objective there for the euro. Potentially, then we get a test of the yearly S3 97.50s, but from there, I'm going to be watching for bullish reversal patterns, bullish momentum divergence to engage on the long side for a more meaningful correction in the euro. Uh, similar to the dollar setup there, we should note that there is an equality objective slightly higher, uh, just above that trend line there. Well, no, it actually coincides with the trend line. So that 104.10, 104.15 area could also be an area of interest. So anything into that 103.60s, 104.15, watching the bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side. Heading to the UK, what have we got on deck there? We get Monday, manufacturing PMIs, 52.2, final estimate for the month. Tuesday, July nationwide house prices looking for a 0.5% print there. Demand continues to soften as the rate hikes in the UK take effect. Then into Wednesday, services PMIs, 53.3, final estimate for the month. Thursday, BOE policy decision. Is there going to be a 50 basis point hike needed to quell inflation? Uh, market estimate is looking for that 50 basis points. And uh, the median there is 1.75% percent up from that 1.25 percent so really going to be key uh, decision point there in terms of trading next week for the, for the pound so from a technical perspective we are looking at this equality objective versus the swing structure here so we are sitting right at that equal as you can see we've got some profit taking into the close on friday at 122 area so as this uh, 122.60, 122.80 acts as resistance, then we are looking for another leg to the downside to test into that 115 area. However, at this stage, any close above the one uh, 122.70, 122.80 would be a bullish development. Uh, certainly then thinking about a test up into 124.25 and then that high volume area, 125.30. So it's really good. I think the... BOE is going to be the, uh, the driver for this, uh, this next leg of price action in terms of sterling. Now, heading to Japan, what do we have there? Monday, manufacturing PMI, 52.2, final estimate for the month. Wednesday, then, is the next uh, data of note. That's the services PMI, final estimate for the month. Just looking for a 51.2 print there. Uh, and that's all the data really out of Japan next week. So from a technical perspective, Dolly had broken down out of the wedge now. And so I'm looking for uh, any recoveries into the um, high volume area there, 136, to find resistance. And I'm looking for a move down now to test 130 as the next downside objective before then re-engaging on the long side and looking for uh, an extension through the prior cycle highs, uh, targeting that 140 area. Rounding out the week down under in Australia, what do we get? Uh, on, well, it's a bank holiday in New South Wales on uh, Monday. Markets are open though. Uh, then heading into Tuesday, June, housing, finance, looking for a negative 3% with some estimates as low as negative 5%. The downturn to show through more clearly, investors marginally less affected than uh, affordability constrained owner occupiers. Then we get retail sales on Wednesday, 1.2%, nominal sales up 3.2% quarter over a quarter, but 2% of that likely due to price inflation. Uh, then we have Thursday, June trade balance, looking for a 13.9 billion print there, imports up, exports consolidate after rapid gains. And we round out the week on Friday with the RBA statement on monetary policy, updated forecasts are really going to be the focus there for uh, Aussie dollar traders. So looking at the technical setup, we've taken out the trend line resistance. So what we're looking for now is a grind higher into this high volume area of the 7180s. From there, we're watching for bearish reversal patterns to re-engage on the short side. At this stage, in terms of uh, breaking lower from current levels, we would need to take out the lows here, 69.15, because we still do have that weekly downside according to objective 66.40s. But for now, Whilst we hold this uh, this trend line and those 69.10s, we're looking for a 71.80 test. And we'll round out the week by taking a quick look at Bitcoin. 
Bitcoin still tracking for a potential wave four high here into the uh, 124, uh, sorry, the 24, 25,000 level. And we still have that downside equality objective, 12,185 below us. You see the similarities in terms of the setup here in Bitcoin with this phase of price action before the rollover. And I'm anticipating potentially something similar developing here. Uh, obviously, we need to take out this trend line support now to uh, to see a momentum move to the downside to target that 12,185. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 1st of August. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.